Okay, we're going to look at creating an alpha channel or a clipping path um, in Photoshop around an image to create a transparent area um, before bringing it into InDesign. So why would you want to have transparent areas in InDesign? We've got some examples here on the page. Um, in InDesign there is a coloured background here, so if I move that across you will see it's a coloured background. Now usually if we bring in a JPEG, um, something like here we have Solvent's logo, which has been brought in as a JPEG with no clipping paths or alpha channels on it, and it's just a text on a solid white background. Now you see here that's fine if it's on a white background, but if it's on a coloured background you'll see it's just a, a white block um, and then the text is on top of that. Now but by creating transparency or alpha channels or clipping paths you will see here this logo here with the Solvents logo has transparency, has a clipping path on it which means that those areas are transparent and also the same when it's in reverse and it's on white. Now these images here are um, two images are EPSs which are encapsulated postscript images and these have been created in Illustrator and then output. EPSs are scalable unlike bitmap continuous tone images. Now the bottom two images uh, of the car here um, both of them are being cut out in Photoshop but the difference being is the car here on the top has a clipping path and or an alpha channel and it's been saved with that um, path uh, mask around it and when it comes in it masks off that area and um, InDesign recognizes it so it's transparent whereas the image at the bottom that doesn't have a clipping path or an alpha channel or a transparent area and it's the same as what we've seen with the logo text at the top for the Solent logo it's a, an object on a solid block of color now these are quite useful because you know you might want to have cut out objects um, on, on, on colored backgrounds or overlaid on another image or later on you would want to have text wrapping around the size or the shape of the object. So we're going to have a look at how we would create a clipping path or an alpha channel to create transparency or a mask before we import it into InDesign.